Welcome to Lecture Online. In this video, we're going to continue with the concept of the language of mathematics, but we're going to add one more change to that. Notice here that we sometimes use a letter, the letter X or the letter Y or the letter Z, but in our examples here, we're going to use the letter X to represent an unknown number. In addition to that, we sometimes call that unknown number, that letter X, a variable because it can take on any number, any random number, so it can take on any value, so therefore we call it a variable, because it can vary. And because we often use x as that unknown number, that variable, we need a different symbol to use as a multiplication symbol, otherwise it gets kind of confusing. So we use a dot as a multiplication symbol, so we write 5 times 3 with a dot instead of an x, and set equal to 15 as an example. So knowing that we're now going to call x the unknown number, we have some translations to do here from an English sentence into a mathematical expression and we're going to use the letter x as the unknown variable. Here it says twice a number. Since that number is that unknown number, we'll call it x and we need twice as much of that so we're going to call it 2x or 2 times x. So in other words, we're going to write 2 times x. That means twice a unknown number. However, when we have, for example, 2 times an unknown number, we don't have to write that multiplication symbol. We can simply write 2x, and that means 2 times x, or 2 times the unknown number x. The next sentence, it says 6 added to a number. Again, we let x be that unknown number. We add 6 to that, so we write x plus 6, which means 6 added to the unknown number, which we'll call x. The next sentence says, a number subtracted from 8. So we start with the number 8, subtract an unknown number from that, let's call it x. So we write that 8 minus x. This means an unknown number we call x subtracted from the number 8. The next sentence says, 8 added to 3 times a number. Remember, here we have 2 times a number. Here we have 3 times a number, so we're going to call that 3x. And then we add 8 to that. 3x means 3 times x, that's 3 times an, an unknown number, and then we add 8 more to that, that is 8 added to 3 times a number. Twice a number subtracted from 15. So we have the number 15, we're going to subtract from that twice an unknown number, remember twice a number was 2x, so when we subtract that from 15, we get 15 minus 2 times x, or 2x, twice an unknown number subtracted from 15. 5 times a number, just like twice a number, we simply write 5 times x or 5x. 5x means 5 times the unknown number x. 4 added to a number, so we have an unknown number x, we add 4 to that, we write x plus 4, 4 added to the unknown number x. 9 subtracted from a number, well the unknown number is x, we're going to subtract 9 from that, which means 9 subtracted from the unknown number x. 6 subtracted from 5 times a number. 5 times a number would be 5x. And then we subtract 6 from that, so write 5x minus 6. This means 6 subtracted from 5 times an unknown number. And finally, 8 times a number added to 52. Well, 8 times a number is 8x. We're going to add it to 52. So we write that as 52 plus 8 times a number. So 8 times a number added to 52. And that's how we take an English expression and turn it into a mathematical expression. And when we have an unknown number or simply a number, which we don't know what that is, we simply call it an x, a y, a z, doesn't matter. In this example, we called it an x. And because we use x as the unknown number, we then typically use a different symbol for multiplication. We use a dot instead of an x symbol, and that way we don't get things confused. And that's how we use the language of mathematics.